All right, I'm back for some more long rebalance, a little bit sooner than I expected, but I'm kind of very excited about this game right now, so I want to play more of it. Let's take a look. Um, what do we have? Recruits arrive. Oh, one of them is the one I bought. The other one is the one I get for free. Let's see. We just shot something down. Improved body armor, stun rifle, laser cannon. Okay. So we're doing the UFO crash site. All right, all right. Let's take a look. So we got this map. I say this map as if the word this has uh, some good indication. This is the, um, I think it's the, it might be called like urban close quarters in Long War, um, but it's it's the one, maybe not the one. It's like a UFO map with buildings in it. Because um, there's also the, uh, the bar and grill map, right? The bar and grill slash convenience store. What do I want? Um, I want for sure a support scout. I want for sure an engineer. I want the assault. I kind of want a medic. This might be the debut of Wilson as a medic tank. I think last time we didn't have enough EXP for the promotion, right? So this is the first time we actually have the will to survive perk. Okay. So we have one support soldier. Can bring Saito as the second one, but a little hesitant. I think I'd rather level these fellows up. Um, of the two, I'd like to level up Farid with the higher will. Yeah, that makes sense. Strike rifle. And since we don't have smoke and mirrors as a perk yet, let's, let's take a little bit of a greedy configuration. I might actually take two battle scanners. Okay. What am I taking? An SMG and a sawed off. Taking, I think I have laser carbines now, right? I do. Okay. I've got the laser auto cannon on already. Wilson can take a laser carbine. We can take. Is Miller or Orlov? Doesn't really matter which one. Um, yeah, okay, we already have the laser rifle on. We've got one more spot. I think it's going to be Yosef. I want to level up another soldier. It could be Pain. Pain has a more advantageous nationality because you can't get missions in Israel. So leveling up pain might give us more. Huh. Do I want no? No. 14.6 mobility assault is probably not reasonable. Ah. Oh. But the will is just so high. Okay, let me let me hold off on that. We'll just go with Yosef for now. Okay, so we got scope, scope, scope. We've got that. Maybe, what do I do here? Concussive grenade? Actually, maybe smoke grenade. Okay. And we've got support grenades on one soldier. I think this is a fine squad. We're probably going to be okay. We've got two battle scanners here. And the battle scanner is going to be useful. Why? Because we're going to shoot with Yosef. We're overwatching here, shooting with the laser carbines. Yeah, I think we have enough people who can shoot on a turn where having the second battle scanner is pretty strong. Touching. We're going to be putting down in Mexico for this mission. 
The downed UFO is in a densely populated urban area. We'll need to move in and secure the scene before people start panicking. Come in, HQ. Big Sky has reached the outer marker. Okay, we're far away from the UFO on this side of the map. Affirmative, Big Sky. Strike one is free to engage hostile targets at the crash site. Sector is just outside visual. Okay, so we're really close. Um, let's go ahead and pop the motion tracker. They're right there. Okay. So, how do we fight this? We can. Mm, that's all half cover. That's heavy cover. That tile is heavy cover. There's heavy cover back here. I suppose we could try to draw them toward us. What cover do they have? They have heavy cover there and heavy cover inside the building. Okay. Hmm. What if I dash the shiv over here? and then take defensive positions otherwise? What's, what are we afraid of? They're gonna scatter there and there. I can run into the truck and then pop out next turn. That actually seems reasonable here. Let's run into the truck. Got it, moving target acquired. Hmm. 45. Four sectoids, two drones. So there's one, two, three. There's one far back there, right? Okay. If I can somehow keep that fella pinned, might be not a bad idea. Okay, so how about this? come up 53s which will turn into 68s can overwatch from there I can run all the way up and shoot huh can shoot from there I can shoot from here okay all right Let's do this. Scanner in the air. So we'll start with, I think, the simpler actions. I guess I could have smoked with you, but nah. But nah. Okay. Right. Simpler actions as in, like, there's only one target that I can really shoot. Okay. No way that just happened. I'm less interested in shooting at the sectoids, more interested in shooting at the drone, I think. Position confirmed. Put an overwatch there. That's affirmative. 72, 72, 68. So, I'm kind of afraid of what the sectoid might do to me here. What am I actually afraid of? Not Nothing really. I mean, the sectoid could come to here, right? That's a little bit scary. I could stop it by going there. Okay. Engineer doesn't have a great action. I could go here and overwatch. I kind of prefer to preserve the HP on the engineer. I suspect maybe if I go to here with the shiv, I can sneak a ram right there. No, I can't. Okay. Um, 
let's just take this shot on the drone, see if I can hit it. Do. Perfect. That means no hollow targeting from them. 68, 68. Who's more important, the back one or the front one? The front one's gonna get mind merged. Nailed him. How about I overwatch? And then I go to here and just chill. And I think I'm just going to sit here. So the interesting thing with close encounters is you cannot get crit by a shot within four tiles. So if the sectoid the, the sectoid does decide to come here and like suicide flank me, then I can't get crit. So I'm going to just hang tight. Now that I think about that, I don't think I was better off overwatching. I think I might have just been the same chance shooting. Fire. Are we going to do it again? Shoot again? Nope, overwatch. Something's weird with the camera. Like, I'm not doing that movement. That's just the game doing things, but it feels a little jarring. Okay. Sectoid is on overwatch. However, I have an assault. Um, yeah, okay. 53. I mean, it's a good enough shot to take, right? Just a coin flip. Cool. Think I'd rather take a reload. Hmm. Headed there now. Shoot with the carbine. Target's still up. I have three mobility after shooting, so I can get back in the truck if I want to. Or I could just go here. No, I'll, I'll, I'll go back in the truck. It's a 48. Hmm. You know, I could just coin flip on every soldier. Negative. Weapons dry. I'll get him next time. Right, because I can move I'm up. Move. And I can just overwatch for security. On the move. Yeah, so let's just do this. Okay, cool. How's it coin flip that? Flipped in our favor. So we can dash and reload. Not sure what the advantage of doing it is. Okay, so where, where are we fighting? There's probably not a pod here, right? Because we would have gotten a scout ping. So there's potentially a pod here, potentially a pod in here with the outsiders. Either way, I think we just chill. Drones. Okay. I think we're supposed to get thin men. Meld canister over here. I'm not sure that I can like find the meld just by clicking around. Alone out here. Ready to rock. 
Moving. Let's rock. Mogę sypać dalej. And unfortunately, the assault doesn't do great against drones. Oh yeah. So I think mostly. Quiet. Did you hear something? I don't know why I specifically singled out the assault. That was mean of me. But I was thinking like, we don't need to get aggressive, like positioning wise. Okay. So they were in the distance. Now they're over here. They're probably right in there. And I would like them to pull somewhere into here so I can actually like chuck grenades onto like a surface to hit them. Medic. Medic. Moving to designated coordinates. Roger Dodger. I think. Hmm. The scouts are better off on the roof. Maybe Yosef as well. We just want to like shoot twice. In the vicinity. All right, we're ready. Got it. Moving. So I'm trying to remember, I feel like one of the hints that we got was humanoid. So I'm not sure, maybe is sectoid considered humanoid? Is, is an outsider considered humanoid? I'm not sure. Okay, so either way we're gonna throw a battle scanner. It's gonna be with you. Next thing we want to do is chuck grenades. Where can I chuck a grenade from? Not a whole lot of great tiles. Yeah, I can't. The range isn't good enough. Like, right, because my range is nine tiles. What if I come to here and sacrifice my positioning? No. Hmm. Oh, I can only clip one of them, just barely. Hmm. Okay, well, that was a bad deal. I'm just going to move out of the way. We can overwatch. I'm going to shoot probably twice on you. Yeah. Shot failed to connect. All right. He's down. One drone down. Now I'd like to get a shot. Unfortunately, I can't get a shot from elevation. So how about Moving. I try to shoot the one that's about to hollow target us? A 45. And that's with a battle scanner. That was incredibly lucky. Now... The awkward part about trying to shoot a drone who is on Overwatch is that... Oh, I can't even select it. Okay. Wow. I've got... Did the battle scanner just not work? I have aim 65 plus strike rifle. Wait. The battle scanner is just not... Hold on. Let's... Let's save reload and see if that changes anything. Actually, I should be careful. Um, 
I think saving and loading breaks certain things like combat readiness. Yeah, I don't think the battle scanner is doing anything. 75, 45, 35, yeah. Okay. That's a bit unfortunate. I'm going to take a step over here. Get out of line of sight. I see three targets. If I go here, I have more defense. I'm going to have 35 defense. That's Body reasonable. Covering. Actually, I might just smoke myself. Oh, I see, I see. The battle scanner went here. Somehow I failed to throw it. And instead of throwing it on the drones, I just threw it on myself. Well, that's uh it's awkward. On my way. Run. Overwatch Get here. My we'll smoke right here. And I think we're just going to wait with the assault. Covering. Toasted. The laser rifle and scope combo really paying off. Okay, we've got two on Overwatch. We'll hit this one first. I say hit as though I'm guaranteed, but I'm not. So now that we have that, I can do something like this. 47. Can I angle a grenade onto it somehow? It'd be crazy if I could like bounce it off the shiv's head <laughs> and hit the drone. It doesn't look like I can get a grenade on it. Wait, that. Well, that's worth a shot. I'm rolling. Bye bye. Okay, now it's time to go fight the outsiders. think we're alone out here in the vicinity so we actually got lucky with their positioning um they're most likely there just barely out of line of sight so they didn't pull while we were fighting things got two more meld canisters all right Alien flight computer could prove to be extremely useful in our own research. Please take great care in returning it to the base in one piece. I'll try, Vaughn. I'll try. So I guess they're back there. Because I don't see another. Yeah, there we go. Triple growth because of combat ready. Yeah, that's a. Uh, I think that's a new mechanic. So, 
basically it's to discourage you from trying to rush the ufo and kill the outsiders before they grow i think that's how that works i get overwatch on one of them which is honestly good enough i'm hollowed so i have to be really careful but while i have overwatch up I get 20 defense. So, I guess the next thing I can do, this is the weak scout. This is the weak infantry. This is the good scout with all the smokes. But I'm gonna, mm, yeah. I'm surprised that that has vision. I guess this, doesn't block, or I guess they're enough on a diagonal that they can still see me. So I'm going to run over here. And with the engineer, I'm looking to just grenade next turn. Medic can dash to there. I have enough DR that the outsiders can't pop me. Yeah, this medic tank is really good. Like, normally outsider shots are super, super scary, but... Alright, so what am I gonna do with you? We're just gonna dash back here, probably? That seems too dangerous. I think I want to be in heavy cover, so I'll just do this. Location confirmed. We can shoot twice. 33 is not a good enough shot to take. Shiv can take a flank shot for fun. Seventy-five, seventy-five. That's a good shot. Okay. And I think I'm just gonna Overwatch again. I can steady a shot from there. I don't have to be in that tile. I can take like this tile, for example. Heading there now. I can steady a shot from here. I'm on the move. Like, what if I go here and steady a shot? No, that's silly. I might as well just smoke. I can just sit here and heal myself. I'd like to get in position to like flashbang. Maybe that's a position. Same thing with the engineer. I'd like to get in the position to be able to grenade something, but. I'm not used to engineers having this much mobility. The Grenadier perk with plus 1.3 is super nice. Okay, so I have enough steadied shots that I'm basically guaranteed to kill. So why don't we... Let's do okay. a little bit of this action. Suck on this. Take 
take the shot with you. And you've got the alien trophy, so you get bonus EXP, right? That seems like a good enough reason to me. No longer a threat. Excellent work. Oh, that's unfortunate. Eh, I mean, there are worse traits that, or worse quirks that you can get. You got aim on the medic. It's fine. We're not going to do a whole lot of shooting with the medic anyway. I mean, maybe we will, right? That's why we put a carbine on them. Please express my gratitude to our troops, Commander. Quintus gets the promotion. So this is the one I was thinking about, right? It, um, I said maybe not run, or gu run and gun. Maybe Grenadier, because the plus 1.3 mobility is just so bonkers good. Now, something that is interesting that I don't know, right? I was, I was talking about bonus stat rolls and how they're affected by how much base stat you have. I'm not sure if the plus 1.3 here affects your base stat. In fact, maybe stat rolls got changed so much that everything I know about them is completely wrong and, you know, none of that matters, but we're going to stick with the Overwatch infantry theory. Promotions all around for everybody. 91 meld is fantastic. Got the alloys I wanted. That's pretty big. Valen gets her flight computer. Congratulations, Valen. So, how's our barracks looking? We're going to get two soldiers right away. Not sure. I feel like I want to hire more. But I need money to build things. So let's, let's wait first. And actually, now that we have that, I was thinking about stingrays somewhere, but we have to get these repaired first before we can think about stingrays. Now we're at AL2. So this is when mutons begin to show up. And this is where, like, I, I've often forgotten to think about this, but Enemy UFOs gain a big HP boost, so I can no longer reasonably take out a scout with just two interceptors. I'm going to have to use four interceptors to do it. 18 for an engineer? No, thank you. Sorry. All right, so there's our second uh, soldier. Let's take a look at them. We've got Reed with really low will. So I guess that 49 and 52 that we rolled on Payne and Farid was just a fluke. It's not like the game fundamentally changed how rookies roll. We have a... What, what is this flag? I don't recognize this flag. Scotland. Sorry, people from Scotland. I don't know flags very well. But this should be Germany, right? That's not... Yeah. The one where they're the same colors but they're vertical? I think it's Belgium, right? Maybe? Okay. Okay. Having an extra soldier from Germany is fantastic. Commander, the council is requesting your attention. Secure transmission coming in now. Portent. Ooh. Already. Twenty-six hours. That's unfortunate. Because Portent is a mission where you can very reasonably try to capture Excellent. aliens. Because um, you can almost guarantee that you're going to get at least sectoid drop-ins and thin man drop-ins. Um, and they're kind of isolated, and you have eight soldiers. So the fact that we got Portent so early is a bit unfortunate. Thunder 1, the Shiv, is back from the repair bay. All right, so what do we do here? This is not supposed to be a hard mission. Like, it's actually supposed to be very easy to do. So, huh. I could consider taking the rookies to level them up. All right, well, let, let's load out the part that we know we need. So we know we need a support scout. And once we get the smoke and mirrors promotion, the next promotions aren't that important. Um, we, I, I like to take Kitted. That gives me one extra smoke grenade. And then the med kit is just sugar on top. Um, the ammo is also nice, but I'm not going to do a whole lot of shooting. 
And then I think we go Tinker. I've thought about Impact, but I think Impact without Snapshot is just not good enough. Um, and I don't have enough aim to reliably hit the thing I need to. I mean, granted, right? Like, it's good against, like, a Sectopod or, like, a Mechtoid. That's, like, so much later. Tinker is nice because I can chuck a Concussive Grenade and put Shred on them. So it's like having an AP Grenade and a Concussive Grenade all in one. Um, we get that, and that's fine. And then we take Packmaster, so we get one more Concuss and one more Smoke. And then we take, like, Extra Conditioning. So, like, really, this is the strongest perk in the whole tree. So it doesn't really matter which which of them we take. Like, I don't need a promotion on one versus the other. I guess we can get a mission in Brazil. We cannot possibly get a mission in Poland, so we'll do that. Um, we want to take Herard because we're in France and because Herard's awesome. We'll take Uninfantry. That'll be Miller. Yosef? Sure. I think we're taking a Rocketeer. So we have two supports. And, oh, Thunder 1 needs to get re-equipped because all the equipment's on Thunder 2. Having an Assault is not bad, but honestly, having a hit and run scout is probably even better. We'll take an SMG with a sawn off, and we'll take a plating just in case, I think. Do I care about a battle scanner? I mean, there's like a slim chance. What if I take high cap mags? That might actually be better. Okay. Gunner is great against drones, but I kind of don't want to use my gunner right now. I, just, I need to make sure I have an answer to drones. Well, you're only going to get like two or three, maybe like two, right? Okay, so I'm not worried about it. What if I just take two rookies? How am I dealing with drop-ins? Got concusses, smokes. Rookies can take carbines. Rookies can take assault rifle. They can take laser rifles. So actually, how about this? Let's put a laser rifle on you. And let's put carbines on the two rookies. We have an extra scope to put on somebody. Groff can actually take the smoke, or not the smoke, uh, the scope instead of the high cap mags. Right? Because that's going to put me in a position where I can. Well, no, I have hit and run. I don't need. Like, I can just walk up and shoot them in the face. Okay, I'm convinced. So we can put one of the scopes on the rookie. We can do something like ceramic plating. Well, maybe I just put med kits on the rookies. That honestly feels like the better play. Yeah, let's do it. Strike one. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video and go to the next segment. It's been a pleasure. Thanks for tuning in. I will see some of you next time. Peace.